everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today is that time of the month. Well, not that time of the month. Well, it actually is, but we're not going there. <laughs> Today is the time we talk about February favorites. I cannot believe February is already over. Like seriously, I can already tell 2016 is going to be over like that. Not ready for that. But I've got a quite a bit of favorites that I would like to talk about. I've got some skincare and then makeup related. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the skincare. I, you know, as I pretty much mentioned in every single video, I have very oily and very acne prone skin. And so something that I've been using lately, I've had it for a long time, but I haven't used it all that much. And I just started using it a lot this month and I have noticed a huge difference. Anytime I start feeling a breakout um, coming on, I will dab this on and leave it on for about 20 to 30 minutes and then I'll wash it off and the next morning it's gone. Like it didn't even have a chance to like pop up all the way and show its ugly little face. So it is the Peter Thomas Roth, um, what's it called? <laughs> Therapeutic Sulfur Mask Acne Treat. It's an acne treatment mask. And I used to use it all the time when I was really, really bad um, in hopes that it would just work magic and completely clear it up. But we're going to go on to the next product that did that for me. And um, But anyways, this is great. If you feel a breakout coming on, just dab it on. Leave it on for about 20, 30 minutes. And you're going to wake up and it ain't going to be there no more. <laughs> on to the thing that really cleared my acne. Now, I don't have insurance that covers dermatologists, so I could not quite pay the pretty penny to go visit one, and heaven forbid I had to get a prescription. I don't, you know, these prescriptions are like hundreds of dollars. Accutane itself without insurance is almost a thousand dollars, and that just wasn't happening, girlfriend. So <laughs> I searched and searched and searched because my acne was so bad I couldn't even I couldn't even go look in a mirror without crying it was just horrible and if you guys are suffering from acne and you're just like what do I do I can go ahead and film a video on my acne story how I cleared it up um, I, I've been wanting to I've just been a little hesitant because it is it is um it's very nerve-wracking and uncomfortable for me to go back and see those pictures, but I would be happy to do it if there's somebody out there that would really like to see it and see where I started and where I am now. It's really such a big improvement. But I went online, I was searching like crazy, and I found this um, company called uh, Curology, and it's an online dermatologist. You get your very own dermatologist assigned to you, and you can talk with them back and forth as much as you need. You can say, hey, this prescription isn't working for me. Can we switch it up a little bit? Hang on. <laughs> okay, sorry. Had to go press play on Netflix. Hashtag mom life. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, you get your own dermatologist um, assigned to you and it's 20, it's $19.99 every time that they ship out a new topical prescription for you and these last three months so every three months you're paying $19.99 it's amazing and the fact that it works makes it worth every single penny <laughs> now I went through about three different prescriptions um, the first one kind of caused a purge um, most acne treatments you're warned that there's gonna be a purge where your pores are clearing out and you get a little bit more of a breakout and then it calms down and starts to heal and go away. So um, that happened, but the purge was lasting a little too long. So I said, hey, we need to switch this up. It's just not working. So we did that and then the next one worked. I mean, it cleared me up a lot. Um, and then I felt like we kind of just hit a plateau. So it wasn't improving, but it wasn't getting worse. And so then we got what I have now, which it contains azeliac acid at 4%, uh, clindamycin, clindamycin, 1%, <laughs> and niacinamide at 4%, and that's it. And it's been working wonders. Like, I am pretty much completely clear. Except when it's that time of the month, I will get like one to two breakouts. 
So other than that, this has been my saving grace. It's amazing. I will leave a link down below to where if you're having this trouble with acne, you just can't beat it. Um, you can get your first month free, no risk, no nothing. You can try it for free for one month with the link that I give you down below. This is not sponsored. They don't even know I'm doing this. I just want you like, I know what you're feeling. I know the desperation. So I just wanted to mention that because that is my favorite and I will not miss a day of that. You just use it once at night and that's it. You only apply it right before you go to bed. And okay, moving on. Next thing I have loved, I showed this in a haul. It's the uh, Hollywood California Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment Mask. And I will put this on about once a week just to treat myself and really clean out my pores. You can um, you can really feel it work. You'll see all these dark spots of stuff that it's brought to the surface from deep within your pores once it's dried. And you'll be like, oh my gosh, how was that all in there? But it's amazing. It really clears out my pores. I've got very minimal blackheads now. I mean, that has really helped me with blackheads and um, just keeping my pores a little bit tighter, cleaner, not looking as large. Love it. Next is, we're moving on to makeup now, the Born This Way Too Faced Foundation. I am in love. This is my absolute foundation. If I'm picking up any foundation, it's this one. I love it and I have it in the color Ivory and Nude. I mix those two together to make my perfect shade. This is amazing. I did a first impression on this foundation. You can find it. I'll link it down below as well so you can see that. See how well it covers. I put it on half of my face so you can really see the coverage it gives, but you cannot feel this on your face. I love it. I love it. I love it. Next, I just got this. I just got this in the mail not too long ago, about two weeks ago. It is the Makeup Forever Step one, mattifying primer. This is amazing. Like I've tried so many matte primers, the Professional Matte Rescue, um, the Becca, the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Primer. I've tried this, but it just feels so like, you don't know how cloggy. <laughs> it just, it feels so heavy and nasty on my face. And it's not, it may not be the product, but my face is so picky. It's like a kid that's a picky eater. Like that's my face. It's just, it's so picky with products. This glides on. I don't feel it. It doesn't clog my pores. It keeps me matte so much longer than anything else I've tried. I have been out sweating and this holds true like my makeup stays so this is a really good primer um, as well as just doing what it says keeping you matte I love it and I've got some you see this in like every single video that I do every tutorial it's the Becca champagne pop highlight love this so much I've got it on today, that highlight dough. <laughs> Love it, there's really nothing to say. Jaclyn Hill created this color, it's amazing. She is like the queen of highlights, so get you some girl. And my blush, I also use this in like every single <laughs> video. The Milani Blush Powder in Romantic Rose. It's just that perfect like mauve pink. I. I use it every day. It's the perfect like everyday blush. I love it. And I wanted to go ahead and talk about some Morphe brushes. I went and got a bunch of brushes. I didn't know, I didn't want to necessarily do a haul because I didn't have a whole lot to show to make it like a haul video. So I figured I'd show it in my favorites if I really liked them. And I really like them. <laughs> so I've got these brushes right here. Sorry, they're dirty. I just used them to film a tutorial. So we've got the Morphe E4. This is a blush brush. I love this brush. Like it's just, it's so perfect for that area. You could dab it on and it just applies and blends out perfectly for your blush. And then I've got these two blending brushes. These I use if I'm putting on eyeshadow, these brushes are the only ones I need to use. Two brushes for your eyes. That's it. That's really all you need. Like seriously. This is the Morphe E13. 
and the Morphe M441. These are amazing. This one I will use to blend out above the crease and blend everything out there. This one I will use in the crease and it will blend everything flawlessly. I mean, there are no lines. Just If you're looking for two brushes that are really good blending brushes, these are the two you need to get. And then crease brush, when I want a little more impact on that crease or that outer corner, right here this is the brush i will use because it's so dense it will really pack on that color and give you the pigment that you want and this is what is it <laughs> the morphe e18 come on you can focus on me come on focus for me camera come on oh my gosh okay seriously there we go you could do it girl okay and it's just this little dense small dome brush really good and then I've got this Morphe M432 brush that I use just right here on the lower lash line and it's really good at just depositing that color and making it pop and giving you a good pigmentation on that lower lash line so those are my favorite Morphe brushes my favorite brushes right now in general because if I'm applying foundation I'm using my beauty blender I don't use anything else I don't, I've tried brushes, I just don't, I don't like applying my foundation with a brush. I like using the Beauty Blender. So, I mean, I could, I could mention that, I guess, but it's dirty, so no judgment here. Just Beauty Blender. Um, favorite mascara, I got this in my Ipsy Glam bag that I get every month, and I love it. I had been looking for a good mascara. I've always been using the L'Oreal Voluminous mascara which is also really good and sometimes I'll mix the two but if I am going to just use one mascara I grab this one so now I know I need to go get the full size and I use this in pretty much every tutorial as well and I just I really love it it's got it's got like itty bitty spikes at the end so it really helps you get those um those like inner lashes and it's just it's such a great it's such a great mascara on to oh I forgot when I was talking about skincare I forgot to mention I got this sample with my last Sephora order it is the Ole Henriksen ultimate lift eye gel it lifts firms and deep puffs you use it for overnight and you put a generous amount of this under your eye I've been looking for a really good eye cream that would do just that because I'm starting to get fine lines and wrinkles under my eye, sleep lines, laugh lines, you know the drill. And I've just been looking for something to help kind of like perk it up, make it look a little younger like I didn't lay out in the sun for like four hours a day when I was a teenager with no sunscreen on. Help me out here, you know? <laughs> so I put this on the very first night. I woke up in the morning my jaw dropped like I've got really tiny white dots all over this inner corner on my lower lid and just like really tiny little white dots they were gone they were gone I didn't I mean I didn't think it would do that it doesn't say it's gonna do anything like that but they were gone and my eye like you didn't see half of the fine lines that I normally have I was so sad when I ran out of this this sample. I like, oh my gosh, I am getting the full size. This is amazing. If you are looking for something to really lift and firm your under eye, and if you happen to have those little white dots under your eye, if you know what I'm talking about, this is amazing. Try it. You're going to love it. I promise. For lip, my matte, I just got these Dose of Colors um, liquid lipsticks they're matte and I have this one on today and I really love it I just they're just really great I mean they felt it was a little bit of an odd experience for me because I'm not sure I wasn't used to it to a matte lipstick and I didn't really know what to expect but now that I've put them on and I've played with them, they're really comfortable, they're lightweight. Um, just apply like some 
what am I trying to say? Some chapstick. <laughs> Just apply some chapstick before you even start applying your makeup so your lips have time to be moisturized and prepped for a matte liquid lipstick because you're going to want that moisture. And these, they hold up all day. I mean, they hold up, they held up for about four or five hours before I felt like I had to touch them up. I mean, I ate, I ate a burger and <laughs> so my lips were like going through some things and it stayed put. So I wanted to also mention a drugstore version that I find to be just as good um, as these dose of colors and it's the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. And I wear this all the time too and I just, I really love it and it's a little more comfortable to wear on the lips but I think that it's just, this is a really good alternative if you don't have the money to get the dose of colors then this is a really good option. And last but not least, my tried and true. Um, I used to get the Brow Wiz by Anastasia Beverly Hills, but then she just came out with this brow definer, which is just um, an angled, a wider and angled tip applicator. The other one's just like a lip pencil. And this makes life so much easier. I don't know how or why, but you can get your brows done in like less than 30 seconds. So it's amazing. And sorry. And then as, as usual, she's got a spoolie on the other end and it comes with caps. You just put them on and you are good to go. I don't use anything else for my brows. Anastasia knows what she's doing. She is the brow queen. I only go with her. So <laughs> that is it, you guys. That's my February favorites. I hope that maybe you found some products today that would hopefully help you knowing we might have the same skin type. I am just loving my skin lately now that the Curology is really working for me. You know, your, your skin is the determinator, determinator. Your skin's well-being determines whether your makeup's gonna look good or not. So, now, I hope you guys like this and stay, keep your eyes out because I've got a makeup tutorial coming out on this look right here. So, <laughs> I hope you have a good day. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked some of these products or you just liked this video in general, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me get my video out there for other people to see too. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos that I upload and come out with. And please, leave a comment down below something that you'd like to see a tutorial on or a product you might be wondering about. I would love to make a movie or make make a movie make a, make a video for you so that's it i hope you have a great day and god bless and i love you all so much Mwah!